Good morning, Internet. I woke up this morning before coffee to discover uh, a message from someone who was apparently unhappy with a, a review or an opinion I stated on an amp he owned, and he questioned whether I can actually play guitar or not, um, which is, you know, one of those questions that keeps most of us up at night. And uh, on that lovely thought, uh, I now have to play guitar for the world. And I don't know whether I can play or not, but I'll give it my best. It's a funny thing, putting yourself out there and playing guitar for these videos. It's like going to a music store. You instantly forget anything you've ever been able to play in your life. But anyway, this is that uh, Hot Rod Deluxe, the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe that I recapped and fixed all the stuff in the low voltage supply. I put in some switchcraft input jacks. I... And, uh, Took out the uh, a loop, the loop jacks and the foot switch jack, and put in a master volume, and uh, it's got a uh, Celestion uh, G12 M65 Creamback speaker. Uh, the owner wanted a Greenback. It's a 45 watt amp. A Greenback would last about five minutes. Uh, this amp, uh, this speaker rather, is uh, 65 watts and will be fine. So here's what it sounds like. I've got. Treble and bass at noon, bright switch off, uh, middle about where it would be on a deluxe reverb, um, master's on 10, reverb's on just enough to hear it. <laughs> All right, same kind of stuff with the master at noon. Master at nine o'clock. Master on 10. Bright switch on. Let's do some higher stuff. Bright switch off. A note on the mid-range response of a Hot Rod Deluxe. I find it very subtle uh, in the stock circuit. I often change the way the mid-pot is wired uh, so you can scoop the mids out more like you can on the uh, other black panel fenders um, that the tone stack is otherwise very similar to. But given that the owner um, expressed interest in a greenback, which is a particularly mid-range um, focus speaker, I didn't do that. Um, the amp sounds very balanced. The mid-range does have a good range of control, um, but it uh, never gets boxy with the speaker. <laughs> It's just the uh, prototypical big loud clean amp that takes pedals well. That said, um, there are some tweaks to the Hot Rod series that you can do yourself very easily. All right, no settings have changed on the amp. Uh, exactly what you heard in the last part, but now instead of 12AX7, 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 We've got a 12AY7 in V1 and a 12AT7 in V3, the phase inverter, and gives the amp a much greater uh, range of cleans. Which is great for those who complain that the hot rod is too loud. 
Now, as I'll show you, I'll turn the volume up. You still have loud. It'll still do loud cleans, but it doesn't go from nothing to really loud as quickly. And uh, remember what that guy said about whether I can play guitar or not. Sometimes I doubt it myself. I find the amp uh, just responds more nicely, mo better. What, what's the right grammar there? Let's go with mo better. Um, it uh, just kind of feels better to play. And you can always just turn it up more. This is with the volume on six. And while I cannot promise that it will magically undo some of the weaknesses of the overdrive channel, I th find that it does make it respond a little bit better. Let's hear that. And again, I'm not going for a Marshall thing with the overdrive on this. Just think like, uh, pretend I can play like Mike Landau. is of course to taste and uh, this amp is a really good reason to buy overdrive and distortion pedals but uh, with the uh, tube substitution the drive channel does get a little bit nicer. Mm -hmm. 